Well, guys, you are not going to believe this, but I actually managed to find my Minecraft world and recover it. And I've done a few things in it, that's why I'm standing way over here, because I'm actually going to go this direction this episode. But I wanted to start way over here so that I could show, turn around and show off some of the new things I've done, one of which is that. Um, I talked about I wanted to do a structure using nether components, and I have done it. It's a giant pyramid. Um be entirely honest, I'm not super, I'm not as impressed with the way it turned out as I thought it would be. It took freaking forever, because I did do it all in survival, and you can hear something of what's in there already, if if the sound's up high enough, I don't know for sure that it is. Um, I did it all survival, and, oops, don't want to spoil, I did all survival rules, I didn't do any creative, so I did have to go in and get tons and tons of netherrack, and nether brick, and then turn the netherrack into nether brick, and then get all the stuff I needed to make the frickin' uh, glowstone, and it was a pain in the butt, and it, it turned out cool on the inside, don't get me wrong, very different from the interior of the other pyramid, you come up here, you got a big throne, um, and it was fun to build, don't get me wrong, but I just, I don't like the look of it as much as I expected that I would, but still it's pretty cool, the entire floor is fire with glass over it. Um, I was thinking about just doing it as fire, but, like, with no no surface over it, but then that, that didn't seem like a good idea to me. And I don't take the dogs in there, because there is a chance they will teleport and end up below the, gra the glass and then die, and I don't like this, the thought of that. So, um, it's actually later in the day than I thought it was, so I'm going to go ahead and head back to my house. Oh, and, uh, here's, here's another new thing. I, I'm... Raising bunnies now. Oh, I have a bridge to my pyramid from my house as well. Um, I'm raising bunnies now because I'm hoping I can get some lucky rabbit's feet to use in po in jumping potions. Hey guys, I haven't had any more dog deaths since the most recent episode, which I haven't uploaded the re most recent episode yet. This is as of November the second, two thousand fifteen. I have not yet uploaded the the most recent episode, because I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to make any more episodes until I started in a new world for 1.9, and now I can, so I can start uploading regularly again, but um, I, I may have said this other places, I'm not really sure, but I am not sure how much longer I'm going to be doing Minecraft regularly, honestly, not that I've really done it regularly to begin with, uh, because... Uh, Fallout 4 is coming, and I do plan to let's play the heck out of that game. I am so psyched for it. Hi. Hi, Mustard Dog. Um, I've been calling them Ketchup and Mustard Dogs because they're red and yellow. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the direction that um, we managed to find. Do I have my compass? Yeah. That we managed to find that other village that one time. And what I really want to do, and I have no idea if this will work. I should have looked it up. I actually have my browser open over to the side here, so I can look it up if I need to. Um, oh yeah, okay, you're both there. Um, I wanted to try to go and get a couple of um, villagers and bring them over from the village to my house so that I can, and then, like, put them in a fence, you know. I hear zombies. Uh, put them in a fence, and then build, I think I've been down there, a, a little village of my own, a little makeshift village. Get these out of the way of my dogs, because they'll die, because they're idiots. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and, um, like, start up my own little village right there by my house, so I can trade for stuff. Trade for emeralds, mostly. I would really like to have some emerald blocks as building material, that would be really cool. So I'm going to try to find that village again. Um, if it takes too long to find it, I will just eventually cut to when I do find it. But I'm pretty sure it was in this direction, and I should be able to see it. And maybe, Heck, maybe I'll find another village. Um, I have some leads in my ender chest. Hopefully those work to move villagers. If not, I'm going to have to push them the entire way. Either that, or I'm going to have to... I don't know. I think if you like rebuild a village that's been destroyed, eventually they'll respawn. I don't know though. I'm not 100% sure, which means I would have to rebuild the village over there. There's a temple. Let's go check that out. 
It doesn't look like one that we found yet. And the compass will, of course, take us back to our original spawn, which is close to the house, so I'm not really worried about, you know, getting lost. Um, I should be. I should be really terrified of getting lost, because I get lost constantly, but I'm not. Yeah, it looks like a fresh temple, because if, if it had been one that I had found... Well, I guess I can't see the front, so I can't see if I've dug into it or anything. But it's not its not one of the ones I built bases in, at least, because it would have doors on it. Alright, dogs, let's get ready, because there's probably going to be something in there that's going to try to kill us. I love the look of the desert temples. They're so cool. And it looks like this might be one that I did go into. Yeah, this is one that I've already found. Okay, that's cool. Let's go. We don't want to get ambushed by a creeper or something because we didn't get out of there in time. Are you hurt? What? How are you hurt? Come here. Come here. Hey. Yeah, I healed you. You're fine. You're fine too. Good. What are you guys doing? Come on. Get the sword out. Um, there's a well. But wells do not automatically mean villages. Still, it's possible you can get a well in a village. So let's go see if one pops into you. Looks like a couple of wells. It looks like there's one over there, too. Um, there's another temple. <laughs> now let's go see if we've discovered that one before. We probably have. They're close enough together, I would imagine we have. But yeah, I want to start my own village and get, get trading. I think that would be a lot of fun. And... I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and spoil it for you guys. I'm going to do it in a super cinematic way if I can actually pull it off. But what I intend to do when 1.9 comes out is just straight up... You know, I was going to say, does that have water in it? What? Where's lava? I'm hearing lava. That's freaking me out. Why, is the, why do I hear lava? I don't know, whatever. Um, once 1.9 comes out... Because this world is... Yeah, I've been in this one. Um, this world is glitched or just spawned improperly or something because I did a flyover in creative. I may have said this in a previous video. It's been so long since I've recorded. Um, I did a flyover in creative, and it's just the same three biomes over and over again, not counting ocean, which is what makes up the majority of the world, it looks like. And I, I can't keep playing in it. There's no variety, and I'm not going to ever have any fun playing in this world. So, um, what I have decided to do when 1.9 comes out is I'm just going to MC edit the area around my house into a new 1.9 world and continue from there. I'm going to make it, I'm going to, I'm not sure how I'm going to justify it, like, in-game, if I'm going to do, like, like, make it part of a, part of the story or something that, not that there really is a story. You, you, know, you, you get what I'm saying. But, um, some horsies. Uh, point being, I'm going to transition over there and continue the game from there. Okay, so we didn't find the freaking village. I think we went... I wish I had a map. I should have brought a map. Let's go over here and check it out. Maybe we'll find a regular village instead of a sand village. Um, I'm going to cut to when we find one, though, soon, because th this is... Getting to be a bit too much wandering. I, I do a lot of wandering in this series, and I don't want to. I don't want to just wander around again. This is a cool looking area, though. Check this out real quick. All the flowers. Um, we have flowers like that near the house too, kind of near the house at least. But hey, it's a. Oh hey, cool. A village. Fan fan freaking tastic. Let's go check it out. And from what I understand, a village is literally you just build houses with doors, as long as they're like relatively big size and have doors. The uh, villagers will take to them. I think. I think that's how it works. Um, because I want to. I want to just be able to transport transplant two guys over. And. Who are you? Butcher. Now, rubies, because they're not em emeralds with my texture pack. They're rubies. You're the butcher, so you want meat. Um, I just want to be able to bring, like, a librarian 
and a butcher or a librarian and a farmer over and then get them, you know, like baking little baby villagers. Because I think all you need is two guys in the same place and they'll eventually start making baby villagers if there's not enough in the area. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show the whole process of me dragging them back over there or pushing them back over there if the lead doesn't work, because that's what I'm going to have to do, is I'm going to have to push them back to my spawn point. There's a floating mountaintop over there? Or is that just not loaded in? Uh, the point is, if the lead doesn't work, I'm going to have to... Um, yeah, floating mountaintop. That's kind of cool. Um, push them over there, and that's going to take freaking hours. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut to back when or cut to when I get them back over there. And I will um, continue what I was saying before then, or I'll completely forget to say it one or the other. I don't I don't know. It's me, guys. You know you know me by now. All right, so literal hours later, like literally it took hours to get them here. Um, and several in-game days. I now have them. I figured I could do the village kind of over in this area here. Um, I'm not going to need, like, a ton of houses or anything. So I went in and brought them over here, built this fence around them. I didn't bother making a gate, because I'll just uh, break the fence when they're, it's time for them to come out. So I'll probably fence along here to, to the crops, and then come over here and fence out around that way. And then I'll just build a few houses inside here. And then let them go. And I have a librarian, and I butcher... Oh, he's a, he's a fisherman? I thought I got a butcher. Um, I guess that's not too bad. He mostly just wants coal and string. Which should be fine. What is the library one? He just wants, like... He can get me a chain and stuff. Punch, that's pretty cool. Um, but he's mostly going to want paper, which is easy to make, which is why I chose him. I mean, I'm going to have to set up my, um... Uh, sugarcane field again, which is fine. I, I should have done that already anyway. But yeah, so I'm not going to make you guys sit through me uh, leveling this area out and then making the fences and then the buildings, because that's boring. So what I am going to do... Um, oh, there's one there already. I'm just going to go ahead and cut to that, and I'm going to make it... I don't know, I might make, make it desert-style houses, I might make it regular-style houses, I haven't decided yet, it depends on... How many of each kind of resource I have back in the house? So we'll, I'll go find out in just a second. Alright, guys, I am back to record the last or the last half of the episode about the villagers. Sorry, I got distracted by something. Um, you can see my village over there. I'm going to take you guys over to see it. I did record a little bit of me finishing up the village, but it, the, for some reason the audio didn't record. So I'm just going to come over here and reintroduce you to my new village. Go around the back here. I can't remember. I think I put the gate over on this side. Yeah. I've only been over here a couple of times. Sorry about that. Something happened with my computer. I had to pause the recording to check. Um, okay. Before I reveal it. Um, is that over there? Oh, that's weird. Um, something happened with my fisherman. He got too close to a fence and died. Uh, because he wouldn't go in one of the two houses I had done at the time. So I had to go all the way back over... And get an, a freaking get another freaking guy. Uh, I ended up with a butcher this time, and um, it's been several days, and now there's more of them. Uh, several real world days. I've played for several hours a day since then get, uh, in this area, giving them time to, you know, spawn. And we've got a couple little kids. Do not trade anything. Uh, we got these guys. Librarian. Another librarian. Um, I built them a bob to take care of them. This is a weaponsmith. That's cool. He's only really selling axes right now. Um, hiding in the houses. Um, I saw one guy who looked interesting. Yeah, it was you. Butcher, yeah. You're, you're my butcher. I thought so. Which is going to be nice because I have lots and lots of aminals. Um, and I built the houses. I'll show you. I built them... To be each be kind of unique. We got some longer houses and we got some wider houses. And I put a tower on top of that one, which you can actually go up in the tower, just just to give it kind of a cool look and to make it more fun than just standing here or just standing around building 
the same house over and over again. Oh, I forgot to put uh, the edge of the roof on that one. It's fine. That looks fine. Uh, I did lanterns here. Um, I'm a little worried Bob's going to run away and go, go over the fence. So I'm thinking of coming along here and replacing the fence with um, well, replacing the regular fence and gate with like, I think I can take fence up and put it along here, like make an arch out of fence that he won't be able to get, get under. And then I can just double up the fence all along the perimeter, which should work. Um, I just don't have enough fence for it right now. I need to harvest some more trees a few more times to get enough wood to do that. Um, these guys should be grown-ups relatively soon based on how quickly the other ones grew, grew up. So um, hopefully, I mean, I doubt we'll spawn any more than that because there's only like five houses in there. But pretty soon we'll have like six or seven villagers, which is really nice. It's about what I wanted. I've got a decent range of them. It would have been nice if we had a farmer, but I'm not that worried about it because, um, I mean, I could still trade for some stuff. So let's go ahead and go get some... Um, who do we have? The librarian, I think we can trade with. Um, let's go get some coal and see if we have any paper and trade for some rubies, which I will probably turn back into emeralds. I forgot they were changed by the texture pack. Um, I will probably change back to the... I had some more over here. I didn't know that. Oh, I've got I've got some more fence over here, too. I did not know that. I was looking... Where was I looking? Over here, I think? I guess I remembered I put some building materials in here. Okay. So I have more more fence. Where did this come from? Um, I have some more fence I can use over there. That's good to know. Um, let's see. String. I'm not sure how much we'll be able to get out of them, but... Um, where do I where do I keep my coal over here? That's that's obsidian. Um, okay, go trade from some stuff. I'll show you that on camera since I didn't get to show you. What basically what I did is I finished one of the houses and then um, wasn't string. String was the fisherman. <sighs> Hold on, I, I completely forgot what I was trying to get. I was looking for paper. I need to see if I have paper. So let's put all the freaking string away. Dear God. Don't laugh at me, guys. I know I'm stupid. Uh, paper. I have one piece of paper. That's not nearly enough. So we'll just have to settle on coal, which means I'm going to grab... I'll just grab all of this, and I'll break it down as I need it. So I think the weaponsmith takes coal, too. I should have built him a forge. That would have been fun. But knowing my dogs, they would have fallen in the lava. And I should probably build a way into the village from inside my perimeter, too, which I will do eventually. I have raw meat, too. I can go get some of that and trade for stuff, too. I just don't like using that up because I don't like slaughtering the animals unless I have to. Alright, and I can get, get in here like this. I can jump the fence. Um... But, like, creatures can't. Okay, so neither one of you wants to give me anything. Hurry up and grow up, guys. I wanna want some more guys. Okay, so what all do you want? You just want raw meat. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now they've got me doing it, too. Where's other guys? Where's the... Where's the... Oh, he's in there. Okay. Alright, come here, guy. Let's trade for some stuff. Okay, so I need more than that, obviously. Right, let's see if we can, what we can get for, off of you. Alright, he has not stopped me yet, so... Eventually, they won't let you trade anymore. That's nice. And he's still willing to give me more. Alright, so... Alright, now we're uh, out. I can buy this stuff off him. He'll take iron, too. What's that? I'm breaking three. 
Alright, so... Give me that, thank you. We've got seven rubies now, which is not quite enough. So what we probably have to do is go in here and trade for something else. <sighs> but everything he has is so expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the house. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Give it up, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go back to the house. And I'm going to... Looks like the kid was outside the fence for a second. I'm going to get some raw meat and come over and trade with the butcher instead. And I will cut the trip back to the house out of the video just because it is going to take a couple minutes. Alright, and we're on our way back. Got tons of chicken. I didn't have a lot of pork. I thought I had more pork than I actually did. So I just brought chicken instead. Here you are. Um, just load you up. I'm getting experience for that. That's nice. And he takes a lot, obviously. But I mean, technically speaking, Ruby is the most valuable. Well, Ruby right now. Emerald, normally Ruby right now. Who are you back there? I didn't know we had you. Where did you come from? Are you... You're one of the kids, aren't you? Okay. Well then. I'll take a Ruby for all that then. What else? You know, give me rubies for gold. I am gonna probably, like I said, I am probably gonna change them back to. Um, see, I wish I could get another one from you. Um, you just want paper, right? Yeah. Hmm. Will you take more coal now? All right, because I'd like to get up to enough to make two blocks. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, though. Uh, so you're another one of the kids, aren't you? Okay, so the kids already grew up. That makes sense, then. All right, so that's probably all the villagers we're ever going to have, then. Which is nice. I mean, we've got plenty of them. And we now have 17 rubies. We have a couple back at the house, too. So I can make a couple of ruby blocks. And like I said, I'm probably going to turn them back into emeralds using the option to the texture pack, just because... I don't know, Emerald just seems more Minecraft to me, I guess. So, um, I'm not going to do that right now, obviously, but I will at some point. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get in here and let's make our Emerald slash Ruby blocks, and then I'll real quick show you my bridge over to my pyramid, since I haven't done that yet. Alright. Is it nine, so... Well, that's... Too many. Alright. Boom. Actually, the ruby blocks look pretty freaking cool. And go ahead and put them in here, just because it's neat to have them. I, I don't really need them for anything. They'll be nice to, like, decorate areas with, but I don't really need them or anything. I'm just really excited to finally have, um, well, ruby right now, but emerald, eventually. And I've not unloaded my... Answer here. I have not unloaded my inventory yet either. I should probably do that real quick. Um, get rid of the bones. Almost full of bones. I don't want to get any more than that. Eh, come on. There we go. Alright, real quick. I will go show you this. Actually, the best way to get there is over here. I added this, so now I can go up here, and then walk over here, go over here, I put some towers up over here too, some battlements, and then we can just walk across here, it's kind of long, we just come right into the bedroom. That's really it. I think it's pretty cool. It's um, something I've been meaning to do for a long time and just finally got around to doing it. And what's cool is the dogs always end up out here. Since this isn't a sheer drop, uh, I'm not going to like knock them off coming out the door. And since there's these here, even if they spawn on the outside, the chances of me knocking them off here by accident are very, very slim. Uh, something else I did... Um, right before my move and before my computer got screwed up and everything that happened, 
um, that almost lost me this world. Right before that, another thing I did, as I went back into the nether, I built a pathway all the way to the nether fortress. And um, then I built another nether gate there because I had just done, I, th I, I mentioned this already, I'm, I, I'm sure I have at this point. Um, I did a flyover of the area in creative just to see what, what this world looked like, if there were any other diverse biomes that were worth keeping this world around for for a longer period of time. And there weren't. So I went in there and I walked all the way to the nether fortress, built a path all the way there out of like cobble and diorite and andesite and stuff. And I'll show it to you guys. Actually, I don't know that I will show it to you guys because I am going to move to another world once 1.9 pops in, or pops up rather. Um, and I built another nether gate at the end of it by the nether fortress and I went through and ended up on another landmass. And it was the same three freaking biomes again. Uh, the, the big, huge, um, I can't remember what they're called, the, the really big hills, uh, desert, variations of desert. It obviously wasn't just three biomes. It was like desert and desert hills, the mega hills or whatever they're called, and then savannah. Just like here. Just like everything around here. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I, I mean, I like this world. It's cool. I've done a lot in it. But with MC Edit, I can keep this area and just edit it into a new world that will hopefully have more diverse biomes for me to explore and more stuff for me to do. Um, I, I've been loving the desert theme, don't get me wrong. I'm glad I kept it. I'm glad I've kept up with it. That was a creepy sound. Um, and But, like... If, let's say I MC edit this into a new world that's jungle here all around me. Then I can turn this into a, j a jungle pyramid. That would be awesome. And I could get watermelons and cocoa beans and stuff that this world just doesn't have for whatever reason. I can't figure out why either. If it's glitched or what the problem is. But I don't know. That is going to happen. I probably won't do many more episodes in this world actually. Um, because, quite frankly, as soon as 1.9 rolls around, I want to edit this immediate area into a new world and start there. I don't want to start any more projects in this world, in this area, and make the area I need to edit in any larger, because I'm an absolute noob at, M at MC Edit. Um, anyway, though... That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly enjoyed making it. I am very happy about our village and how it's turning out. I will be moving that into our new world with us. Um, and either way, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. This has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.